News 13 new this morning. I'm Matt Morrow. Good morning to you. I'm Elizabeth Alvarez. Today is Tuesday, April 3rd. Boy, you are waking up to winter in April. Can you believe it? Want to let you know to check the bottom of your screen also because there are about seven schools that are either closed or delayed this morning. Moriarty, Edgewood schools are closed today as well as uh, Cimarron Municipal Schools in Colfax County. Actually, PNM is reporting a pretty widespread power outage right now. Yeah, about 2,100 people up in Las Vegas do not have power. About 100 here in Albuquerque don't, and then another 100 in the East Mountains. Also, we should let you know APS and East Mountain schools all on a regular schedule this morning. Plus, there are problems with the interstate. We'll get to all that in a minute. But first, let's start off, get the latest on this winter storm. Meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, and this is video actually from last night, and this is over by Tramway, and you can see the snow uh, coming down there. Of course, temperatures above freezing, so we're having a hard time sticking. So really in the metro area, the roads are going to be a little slick for you, uh, mainly wet roads. So you're going to want to slow down and allow for some extra time because of that. Uh, but we're not dealing with the icy or the freezing conditions like we're dealing with across much of northern New Mexico this morning. So, again, you can see the snow coming down over near Tramway, and now we're just mainly dealing with plain old rain coming down the metro area. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar, and you can see much of northern and central New Mexico getting the showers this morning, and in Albuquerque, some heavier stuff over on the west side near Rio Rancho. Uh, moderate rain coming down there, down toward Las Lunas and Berlin. Out toward the East Mountains, you get up in elevation a little bit, and that rain does change over into some snow, and so uh, some spots over near Tijeras could be a little tricky for you getting out this morning, and then up near Santa Fe, we have some light snow trying to come down there in and around the Santa Fe area. Very light and very patchy at this point. Espanola seeing some snow, and then of course uh, the worst of it up near Raton, and along the stretch of I-25, where we still see some snow coming down in Las Vegas. And really, the focus is going to shift once we get through the morning to the northeastern part of the state. But right now, looking pretty rough out there. We have winter weather advisories to talk about, winter storm warnings to talk about, and of course we're going to track all of that for you coming up in just a moment. And as far as road conditions go, this is a live look at US 84 and 285 near Santa Fe, and of course they got. A few inches of snow last night, so we're going to be dealing with tricky road conditions up that way, and we'll continue to keep a close eye on the roads and continue to keep you updated as we head through the rest of this morning. As Kristen just said, be very careful as you head out on the roads this morning, specifically, specifically rather, in the northern part of the state. Here's a look at the latest map from nmroads.com. The worst is north of Albuquerque and Santa Fe. So what we know right now, I-25 closed in both directions from Las Vegas to the Raton Pass because of low visibility from a lot of blowing snow up there. Crews are out, but it's going to take them a while to get that area cleaned up. Plus, US-56 is closed in both directions. That's east and westbound from Springer to Clayton, and US-64 is closed from Raton to Clayton. Other highways in this area, as you can see, they are red, they are yellow, they are green. That means conditions are not good. They're snow-packed and icy. Plus, here in Albuquerque, in the metro area, take your time. You know, it's been some time since we've had a lot of rain, so the roads are soaked out there. And don't forget, you can always get the latest on the road conditions all around the state at any time. Just dial 511 or check them out on our website at krqe.com. Plus, we're going to have the latest updates for you right here all morning long.